extremely important because when the bill was before us as members of Congress, there was a provision called severability, which means if the court would someday take up this case as they did today and make a decision and find that one part of this bill was found unconstitutional, then the rest of the bill would stand. Congress chose to remove the severability provision. That shows clear legislative intent on the part of Congress that if one part of the bill would fall, all of the bill would fall. Congress found today that there was, there was no severability, that if a part of the law fell, which in fact the Medicaid expansion for part of this bill was found unconstitutional. That portion fell, but yet the court still ruled that the entire bill would stand. So the result today will be that every state will be required and every American will be required to pay this unconstitutional tax under the individual mandate. Every American will be required to pay it. However, states may choose to not be involved in Medicaid, which means, as Justice Ginsburg just stated, said, the very generous grant, unquote, that the federal government will be giving to each of the states for Medicaid, the states can refuse to accept that pot of money. But under no circumstance can they refuse to collect from every American this unconstitutional tax. The people who will be the most hurt by the court's decision today will literally be the poorest among us. Because those who have the least ability to pay the Obamacare tax will be forced to pay this tax. And the biggest loser of all of this will be not only American liberties, the loss of our Constitution, the loss of our liberties. We lose the freedom today in our economy to be able to set decisions in our businesses, to be able to grow them and to renew our economy. What we have bought today in the Supreme Court decision is nothing more than unparalleled economic uncertainty. Because you see, at the heart of Obamacare is a bill that will never finish being written. Speaker Nancy Pelosi famously said, we have to pass this bill to know what's in it. We are here today as a result of the Supreme Court decision stating that we will never know what's in this bill because this Congress across the street will never finish writing it. Because the bureaucracy now has the power behind closed doors to continually, every day, pass more rules, more regulations. No businessman, no businesswoman will ever know what the final outcome of Obamacare is because now the bureaucracy will tell us what we must do. We will, as Americans, this again confirms a denial of our religious liberties.